What is poppin' everybody? We are live coming at you from downtown Chicago on this beautiful Wednesday. My name is Brendan, aka Hollywood, aka fantasy football, best player ever. Don't know why I said that, but it's because maybe the draft is starting up. We got Brian behind the camera reading the comments. Today we're doing something a little different. We're not gonna order pack. We are going to give a shop tour. Brian, how you doing? I am doing fantastic. You know, getting to see you behind the camera again, it seems like you are uh, really working on that mm -hmm. that initial opening with the eye closure. A lot really of Really been practicing, yeah. A lot of so emotions a lot coming through. It. it was really felt behind the camera. You felt I could welcomed. Feel, I could feel it, yes. You felt, you felt introduced? I 100% felt it, yes. Excellent, excellent. Well, you guys, Obviously, there's always exciting things going on here. Uh, us Chicagoans are pretty excited. As I mentioned earlier about the fantasy football, the NFL draft is about eight days away. Next Thursday, the Bears hold the number one and the number one, or number one and number nine overall picks. We are absolutely feeling the electricity in the air. So next week, when you guys see Brian and I, we're going to be livid. But today, as I mentioned, we're going to be doing a shop tour. If you're new to the channel, we've got about a 3,000 square foot retail space here in the Loop. Just right off Lake Street. We carry all things fine writing, stationery, inks, greeting cards, anything in between. So we thought that we'd switch it up today and kind of walk you through the aisles. I think the best way we're gonna do this is we're gonna probably just rotate sections or aisles. That way you get the best of both worlds, a little bit of Hollywood action, a little bit of Prezi action on your screens. And then, you know, if we come across something we wanna give away, maybe we will, maybe we won't. I don't know, this is all improv. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I do want to say something. I think you've got a new style that you could uh, start making some money off of. How? Mics on the chain. Just turn all your chains into mics. Yeah, this is a that pretty extravagant I don't know look. if that's a new, if that's out there already, uh, or if that's just a new avenue we can go. Yeah, so of course being the innovator such as thyself, I like to make sure that I have a balance of style and functionality. And so when you put those two together, you get mics on chains. So it's a brilliant idea. It is not patented yet, so don't steal it. But maybe one day, we'll make sure we get it under a patent. All right, we ready? We are, you better get on that because I'm sure it's gonna get stolen quickly. Yeah, especially with uh, you know how few great ideas I have, it'd be a bummer if the one good one is, is taken is away. Is jacked instantly? Yeah. You know I, you're gonna see it on uh, like Amazon or something tomorrow. Oh, no doubt. They got all that AI and stuff happening. All right, we're gonna start at the front of the shop because you know, I'm the, I'm the pen guy here. So I'm gonna go talk about all the pens and then we're gonna flip it and then we'll have you talk about the upcoming exclusives and then maybe you can handle the inks. Yeah, How's you that? know what we should do? Can we, do we have some the samples for the upcoming exclusives, right? Uh, we should probably have someone grab them. Wait, you know, I don't think we, we do. We have a few of them. The only one we have is the Galaxy. We actually, and we also have the uh, Avalone. Two of them. We got a sample. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, so we got All a right. few. And one's getting delivered today, actually. All right, well, how about this? How about this? You give me this. I'll do a tourist perspective like oh, this. Man. Okay. And then I'll you grab go it. grab those. I'm going to entertain you while uh, Brian goes in back and grabs whatever he wants to show. So we'll flip this around. This is crazy, I've never done like a GoPro stick or whatever these are called. All right, so we are at the front of the shop, check it out. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on, let me get out of the doorway. All right, so what we are going to do is we're just gonna go case by case. I'm gonna give you a quick little little introduction about some brands and some of the models. Right here we got our premier French brand, ST DuPont. Great products, a lot of retro 51s. We're working on an order. Uh, we got some Heinz pens. Heinz pens will be at the Chicago Pen Show. You love to see it. Le Bon restock, fully stocked. Leonardo Visconti, including the Year of the Dragon. That's a heavy hitter. All the Van Goghs down below. Boo. Oh, he's back, he's back. All right, we're going over here. We got a lot of restocks in, a lot of brands came back. And right here is gonna be some of the most popping brands of this upcoming end of spring and early summer season. 
We got Waterman and Parker in the case that we're showing off right now. Great pens, very traditional. A little bit more on the conservative side with color options. You know, your classic black with gold, black with silver, all modes, fountain pen, rollerball, and ballpoint. And then as we flip to the Yeah, before case, we flip, let's highlight this. This is the newest collection from Parker. We've showed it a few times, the Pioneer Collection. Number of different models in there from their entry IM collection yeah. up to the dual fold. Yep, which um, I think that, I think actually all of them come in ballpoint, roller, and fountain, except the dual fold. I, I believe mean, so, yes. I think that one's fountain only, potentially. Yeah, so some really yeah, these are sweet. cool finishes. They've been doing really well so far. And you know what, I, as we're doing an AMA tour, whatever we're doing here, uh, maybe we should go back to grabbing a giveaway based on how many likes we can get. Okay. Well, why don't you figure out what you want to give away? You know what? Let's see what piques my interest maybe on our display right here. How about this? We've never done one of these. A Sailor Dipton okay. set. Perfect. So this is one of those dip pens with an ink. $30 value. So you set the like amount, and then if you guys hit it, we'll give it away. Yep. So let's start with 15,000. 15K. Likes, if we go above that, we'll see what else we have to offer. I'm in a decent mood today, so uh, maybe we can up the prize if we I am not in a decent mood, oh, I yeah. am not, I am well, tired. Well, you took the train for the first time. I am tired, been up since 5.45, guys. Oh man, I don't know how you do it. Yeah, I know, it's tough being me. Okay, in this case right here, we have more of those classic American brands, Cross and Schaefer. These are gonna be more economical than Parker and Waterman in most situations. Uh, and it'll retain that similar traditional design. So we really love to see it there. Yeah, so top shelf there was all cross. Bottom shelf here is all Schaefer. I've been pretty interested in the Sailor Dip Pens. Well, good, get us up to 15,000. Break there your will thumb, be, break yeah, your thumb. Yeah, we'll get a lucky winner. We got some platinum pens here. We've got some Diplomat, some Mayora, yeah. Paniter. Quick note on platinum. The upcoming Shape of Heart has shipped to the US. So we had those up for pre-order a couple months ago. We sold out of everything that we have available. Be, yeah, do it uh, so So anyone soon. that got a pre-order should be shipping out hopefully in a week or so. Mm -hmm. So I think next week we'll get them in and then we'll flip them right out. Yep. And then uh, Brian and I actually just uploaded a whole bunch of new Paniters, a uh, bunch of new Roccos, and then the, a new Classic series, and then a new Celluloid. So those are on our website, completely photographed. So take a look. We were really impressed with some of the colors. Yeah, the new Paniters are fire. Hashtag so really... Fuegs. Okay, and then Pilot, you know, we, we talk about Pilot all the time, especially in the store, so we won't highlight it too much. But, you know, Pilot's one of those brands that I think is considered to be one of the top dogs in the industry. The community always receives them well. Got your Vanishing Points, Falcons, Decimos, 74s, A23, which was this year's winner third time winner of the fountain pen tournament. And then over there we got some Lamy, some Sailor. Sailor's been popping off. Sailor's been yeah, popping off. Yeah, including these new pen of the year, Celestial Gray. Yeah. Are those out Not in the yet. case yet? In the I back. I know you're working on getting them photographed, so we'll have those up later yeah. today. Yeah, we'll get those showcased. Uh, favorite Castell, Karen Dosh. One of my favorite brands, Monteverde. Dude, oh my gosh. You probably are gonna see it, but I, you know, well, I think we're a part of a couple of Facebook groups together. Yeah. I commented on like my first post in the Fountain Pen Enthusiast channel. Uh oh. I like to be like a stalker, like a lurker. I don't really comment too much. Usually people say that they're lurkers, they're not stalkers. Yeah. That might be a first. <laughs> okay, I don't stalk people, I stalk the page and look okay. at the post. So a lurker I think is more appropriate. Okay. But somebody asked, and you know what? This should be the prompt, because this is a great question. Somebody asked, which Fountain Pen in the community it just which pen could be I guess vintage but let's stick to modern potentially which fountain pen in the game is underpriced so I of course commented I, I really think the Monteverde Ritma is underpriced yeah uh, sale price of like 50 bucks I don't know about underpriced but under I mean it's a great value it's an insane value yeah. I think these pens could go for like 70 bucks man yeah. Anodized Maybe aluminum. Maybe don't give them any ideas, so we don't want Yeah, we don't, we don't want the don't price to, to be <laughs> raised. But the color options, the uh, ballpoint roller and fountain pen. Yeah, the fact you get that magnetic the, cap, they're fantastic, I agree. The substantial feel. 
I don't know. This pen to me is one of the best values. Plus getting to see them experiment with some other material. They came out with the wood, mm -hmm. which I don't know if we have out here yet, but the walnut version. I got Austin here. I just got the Monteverde Ritma. Love it. How do you hopefully, love it? Yeah, hopefully you love it. Yeah, I guess, you know, if they see this, good thing you got in when you can, because I'm sure yeah, the price because, is yeah, about to skyrocket. Too. Yep. Uh, but yeah, really love this series. So uh, I'm really curious to see what you guys will say uh, under the YouTube video. We'll replay this, assuming you guys hit the like amount. Uh, but that was just something I wanted to share because now that I'm taking the train into work, I got time to, you know, do some uh, marketplace watch. Or what's it called? Market watch? That's what it's called. Lurk on Facebook. Lurk do, you on... A, do you have a burner account or is it you? No, just no, just me. Hollywood. Yeah, people will, never, people will never guess what my burner account is. It's called Hollywood from Chicago. Just joking. I don't do that kind yeah, of stuff. Austin Chiming, I love the Ritma. It's my favorite color. I bought one for, a, for the guy that runs my local pen store too. Oh, sweet. Well, there you go. So yeah, great pen, really enjoy it. All right, Baynu, we've got the, uh, the, the holiday releases from earlier this year, so if you didn't catch those yet, still have some available. The Twisbees, Twisby is a brand that honestly sells itself so well, yep. no matter what color they do it in, in any, any model. Yep, plus sell. a new Twisby coming out next week. Yep, the Cafe Crema, I think, right? Yes, Cafe, yeah. and yeah, with the bronze yeah, trim. I think it's bronze trim. I think it Either is that too. Or rose gold. Uh, one of the two, but yeah, then it's gonna be like a soft, like cream color. Yeah. And then Narwhal, another brand that just absolutely slaps. Still have a couple of those spring ones, which I'm kind of surprised about, but if you guys are interested, we got like a few of those left, but yeah, Narwhal does a great job. Lovina, or uh, Matera Quartz and Lovina. Which just came back in for like the third or fourth time because those yeah. always sell out. I can't remember, I can't remember the, the what the, the black one's called, Lovina. Graphite. Graphite, there you go. Yeah, so those are, the, those are the those are the ones with the shimmer in the material. Yep. Yeah, it has their vacuum filling system, a really great value. And uh, I, I don't know if we're going to make it to the back, but we actually have a couple Penlux one-off pens, some really special ones that uh, just showed up. We got to get yeah. uh, photographed and added. A uh, couple suggestions on the best value pens. We've got Twisby Go. Great. Twisby Back. Agreed. Honestly, agreed. So, I mean, the Go especially, that's like an $18 pen. So that, that's a great, great piece. Yeah. Uh, the VAC, I agree. I mean, it's hard to put that one into perspective because it's the most expensive Twisby. Twisby in their regular collection. Yeah. But you're right, based on how, I mean, you can say the same for all Twisbys, how they perform, the price you're paying, you're getting super high quality, uh, a lot of color options. I mean, the brand is just very reasonable. Mm -hmm. So, And then behind me, the last one we'll show, we got Graf von Faber Castell. Looks like we got some empty slots. So. We'll have to uh, look to fill those in, but this brand is probably one of the biggest sleeper brands, I'd suggest. I'm in love yeah, with the, the, the designs. US, yeah. yeah, the designs, the uh, professionalism with the hint of flair. I mean, they're super cool, guys. So, all right, I think, I think we're gonna flip. I think that's it for me. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna flip. Why don't you do inks? Okay. Let's or go Or notebooks. Through. You pick. I'll, I'll do inks. I don't know if either of us are the, the most qualified for the notebooks. That's why I pawned it off on you. Yeah, thank you. All right, so. Oh, we, oh, you said notebooks or inks? I'm going inks. Oh, I thought you said we're not qualified for inks. Sorry, we're not, well, we might not be qualified for either. We're so. definitely not qualified for <laughs> notebooks. Inks, we're about 50% We're, we're a little bit better. At least we know where they are. So um, we can start going through all of the brands. I think we're up to what, 1,400 bottles of ink, 1,400 yeah. colors. Uh, between, I don't know, 30 or 40 different brands. It's gotta be one of the largest selections in the US, uh, especially in a retail environment where you can see everything. So we will start out, we've got Monteverde up here, which is one of the first ink lines that we ever had. Uh, very well priced. Uh, I think they're 10 to $12, depending on the color and the color. Uh, really well-behaved inks. We recommend, this, especially for, for new users, to get a brand that uh, you can get a whole bunch of different colors at a very affordable price. And then I saw that you did a video actually on the, the one that you're showcasing right now, the color-changing ink, uh, which is nine colors of ink that you can use a color-changing liquid on uh, that, well, change color on you. So if you want to see what that looks like, uh, take a look at the most recent, one of the most recent TikTok videos that we uh, have up. Instagram post. Oh, sorry, Instagram. Yeah. 
uh, that we're working we, on a video though to show exactly what that looks like. Yeah. All right. Next up, real we, quick, we're at nine thousand, so we might have to up the ante of the giveaway. So we'll have to start out with the the sailor. I got to start thinking of a new a new gift. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. One trillion likes will give away a sixty five hundred dollar pen. One trillion. Yeah. Okay. It might well, be doable. We got we got a comment here. Yeah. Uh, I want a vac, but I just bought a Pilot Custom. That's a great pen. Yep. It sure is. Well, if it's the Custom Eight Two Three. Pen of the year, right? Third pen of year, the year running. at yeah. least here in the tournament. Yep. I want, uh, or wait, what EDC premium pen that's good for the office and right on skin? Right on skin. Yeah, I don't know about <laughs> that. That might throw us uh, off. Yeah. But we did just get some really cool pen eiders and that we talked about. If we make it to the back, yeah. some really cool like, like, traditional colors um, with some nice accents to it. Yeah. Um, might be a good They're option awesome. that we can show off We're uh, when we head back there. Yeah. Nick, we, Nick, the guy who asked the com or that comment, that question. What, did you mean to say skin? If you did, elaborate. Uh, maybe you're looking for like something like gel-like that can write on skin. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know though. I don't, I don't know, know if there's going to be a fountain that. pen out there that's going to write very well on skin. It might give you a tattoo. You know, if yeah. you use the point and inject yourself. And so. then wait, one more thing, Brendan. Yeah. Hope your commute was better today. As I said, when you pulled my order on Monday, take the train. I did today. I did today. It's yeah, he super did fun. today. Still tired though. Still tired. Yeah. Went we'll see a, how the the second day went goes from on a the thirty train. minute round trip commute to a two and a half hour commute. So is what it is. Yeah. Welcome to the party. So. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have a number of brands over here. Still, uh, Private Reserve, another brand with about thirty or forty different colors. Some bigger bottles. You get a, a lot of ink for a, a pretty good price. Uh, we have premium from uh, brands from Italy. We have Aurora, Visconti, and Stipula. Stipula is very new to us. We've carried the pens for a number of years but brought the inks in uh, towards the tail end of last year and they've done really well. And those bottles are insane. You see how big they are? So 70 mil, this has gotta be one of the largest bottles that we have. Might be I don't even largest. know if we have another one. Normally inks run what, 30 to 50 at the high end? Yeah. Uh, in size. So we'll work our way down. Die Mine, one of the largest collections that we've had. Uh, right below that is KWZ that just arrived last year. We have an incoming shipment, actually, uh, which would have Sheen Machine and Sheen Machine 2, which has been huge for our mystery box polls. Next up, we are heading to Australia. We've got Robert Oster, and uh, I know we've got a chat going on between them, me, and Brendan, working on another exclusive. It'll be the fourth ink that we do with them in the last year trying to come up with something for the sidewalk sale and uh, what we have, we're pretty excited to share here in the coming months. But what you see at the top, especially this, these two here, we've got the most recent uh, edition or exclusive for us. We have Izzy Monster uh, and Vampire Pigeon, both really doing well. We've got a couple German brands. We've got Lamy there. Graf on Faber-Castell, which is probably, might be the most expensive ink that we have or one of really nice bottles uh, as we work our way down we have our second australian brand which we just got in a couple weeks ago starting out with about 35 colors van diemens which uh, they actually wrote a really nice write-up about us and, and our partnership here that we're really excited about so thank you for uh thank them for you know, showing the love to atlas and uh, we're really excited to, to expand the line as we get going here so we have a couple more brands. We got Joxer Bond, Pelican. Pelican just launched their Ink of the Year, which uh, already sold out for us, our first allocation. Inverted. Uh-oh, that's gonna, that might throw a few people off. Uh, but we had the Ink of the Year, the Golden Lapis, which is the second ink I think they've done with a shimmer in it. And uh, everything we pre-sold, or we pre-sold all of our initial allocation, but everything should be in transit now. Yeah, you're probably gonna make some people sick here. That oh, was a man. sick transition. That. that was really We got to get else. Hollywood behind the camera more. Yeah. So a couple of our other newer brands, we have Dominant Industry out of, I think it's called Korea. Uh, yep, South Korea. Right? And then we have Deatra Manus, which is one of the newest additions last year. It's looking Late a little thinned year. out. Yep, so looking we have a, a, large, out. a large restock coming, trying to get everything in. We have the Chicago Pen Show coming up in two weeks. So we have a lot of orders coming in, getting restocked so that we can make sure we have uh, Plenty of product here in the store and for us to take to the show. With restocks, any Galen leather coming back? There is always a restock for Galen leather. Uh, it just depends on when they can get it produced. So it, sometimes it's um, every month, sometimes it's every six months. It just depends on kind of where they're at. 
uh, since everything's handmade and they got to source all the products. All right, so we have the two newest arrivals. We've got Minta out of the Philippines and we have Lennon Toolbar right below it, which are these two. That one is out of Taiwan. Both have just been killing it. We've got restocks on the way for both already. They've only been here for about a month. But been very popular. They were really requested by a ton of customers uh, over the last year, especially Hollywood behind the camera was really pushing me to uh, to put bring in Vinta. What can I and, say? Uh, My market watch, you know, very he gets, successful. He gets like one out of every, you know every fifteen things he says correct. So we'll give him props on Not, that. Hey, when it comes it was, to products, when it comes yeah. to products, I'm like ninety five percent. Ninety five percent. Okay. Yeah. Right, we'll see. I'll I rarely miss. Track. Uh, we've got Colorverse Laban. Actually, this is huge. We've been out of stock on Laban for about six months. Uh, just got the inks and pens back in stock. All the inks should be available. Uh, really done well. They started out started with like four or five colors and uh, doubled that last year. But uh, there was a lot of people looking for those over the last few months mm -hmm. uh, as they were out of stock. We got Pilot Ear Shizuku, which is always one of the most popular brands that we have here out of Japan. Uh, about 20 or so colors. And then our biggest ink vendor, or at least largest amount of colors uh, for a single vendor, we have Sailor. Uh, with about two, over 200 different colors between four or five different collections, including the Ink Studio line, which is 100 different colors of ink. I think we just got a restock on that, so almost everything should be in stock. Uh, I know that there's been a, a number of people looking for some specific ones, so if there's anything you were looking for that's been sold out recently, double check, we might have it back. And then, before we flip, hold on, let me, let me uh, do some crazy camera work. Watch this, guys. I wish that I had a second video showing, like recording you doing that. that yeah, was, I gotta get that, behind that the camera the better, more. Yeah, that was the better, uh, the better shot actually. So we got two <laughs> brands left, uh, our two biggest brands, two largest brands, uh, you know, at least volume wise. We have Waringal, uh, which we just launched. What are you doing? I can't <laughs> with you right now. We have the Atlas uh, exclusive ink that uh, just came out last month with the matching swatch cards. These have been doing so well, you guys. And let's show, do we have any of those? Yeah, over here. Are they in the swatch book itself? Uh, right over here. Of how they work? How do you guys like my camera work? Are you impressed? Okay, so the way that these ink swatch cards work, there is a coating on there. So when you swatch the ink, it will only show up in where we want it to. So inside the Atlas one, it'll only show up in the globe. It basically like dissipates kind of, or mm -hmm. I don't know, runs into it. Yeah, it's it runs, it's it really runs into weird. It. I know you, I don't know if you've got some videos on that to show it. It's, it's really do. cool. Uh, it's like magic. On our TikTok and Instagram page. Yeah, so there's a number of different swatch cards available uh, outside of just the Atlas one, but this is the, the newest and it is the exclusive to us. Sweet. 12.7K right. likes, guys, if you You're want getting, this. getting close, You huh? want this Sailor giveaway, 15K. Yeah, you better start thinking of the next one because we still got like half the store to go. All right, last oh. up for our inks, we have Ferris Wheel Press, which has uh, been just an unbelievable partner. I know you had a, I think you did a live with Callie recently, didn't you? Yep, yeah, about so, a month ago. Yeah, so showcasing you know, the newest inks. Uh, every month there is a new collection that they launch uh, in a couple different colors, uh, always a new pen. So they always have some fun, exciting colors, but everything, they just think through everything that they do. The, the ink, the packaging, uh, it's just so well done. Uh, what is the newest, do we have the newest color? Is that dancing? Dancing time, yeah. Time. That is the newest one, right? Let me zoom in on that, actually. That one, unfortunately, we're sold out of the exclusive Atlas Iron Ore. Uh, that's always a fun one to show. What else just came in? Was it the Emerald Garden? I know they're, yeah, they're moving into Beauty and the Beast. So part of their launches, they do uh, a fairy tale collection, which uh, comes in these 20 mil bottles. Let's see if 20 can... mil meaning? 20 milliliter volume of ink. I think when people hear mil, they think 20 million. 
20 million dollars worth of ink. Yeah, it's a 20 million dollar ink. So they come in these little bottles here, you get 20 milliliters of ink. And this collection is all based on fairy tales. So right now they're going through Beauty and the Beast, which I think the next month is also going to be themed like that. Got to show the big Ferris wheel too. Yeah, well, upcoming sidewalk sale, did we get them to sponsor an actual Ferris wheel down here yet? Yeah, so this year's theme, we're pushing for carnival. So uh, we got a permit from the city to set up a full-size Ferris wheel that's gonna have to thread the needle right between the building and the L. See the tracks up top, the yellow? So yeah, it's gonna be pretty crazy. I actually think that that's how they're gonna travel over here is via Ferris wheel. I don't know how, it's just gonna roll all the way yeah, from Canada. Yeah, I don't Canada. know you thought that one through, but yeah, they'll, they'll find a way to, to make it work. Cool, all you right. You can probably ride a Ferris wheel over Lake Michigan. I mean, they're just in Toronto, so. They're just in Toronto. It's, yeah, it's possible. In dropkick shipping range. Yes, All right. Is. All right. Uh, is it my turn? Yeah, that's all the inks. All right, let's, let's, let's leave the inks. Let's stay over here. Let's do the stationery. Yeah, let's leave the notebooks, because I take a lot of notebook photos and stuff. So <laughs> let's leave the notebooks as we both tried yeah. to push it off. <laughs> hey, if you wouldn't have said anything, it would have sounded OK that we <laughs> yeah. said, you know, we'll save that for another day. But no, you let the no, cat out of the it bag. It wouldn't work that way. All right. You know, everyone in the shop, all of our team each have their own preferences. And my preferences are the pens and the inks and some of the accessories. It's not really the notebooks. I love the notebooks, but that's a whole different ball game, understanding the, the paper material, the finishes, the GSMs you know, all that stuff. So I'm not the paper specialist and I'll admit it. Can I say something? Yeah. What were you doing behind the camera? Just like ignoring all comments for the last 10 minutes? No, no, I, there wasn't many comments, was there? I, I need to grab some Vinta inks, but I have so many already. That just happened as I Any passed. Any more of those Yoshizuku sample boxes? That just happened <laughs> yeah, a second sure. ago. Beautiful, we got Tanya saying hi. I was too focused on the camera work trying <laughs> yeah. to provide a yeah. good <laughs> video, okay guys? All, All right. right. Last comment. Any idea when the new Edison will be dropping? Actually, we will. Uh, we're going to show a sneak peek later in the video of it, uh, and maybe a, a little update as well. But let's get back. Let's get back to Hollywood, going through the newest stationery. So we have the annual spring special edition release from Midori. On uh, these releases, they stick to uh, two different notepads and then envelopes, uh, and then in each design. So I think this year we got one, two, three, four designs. Uh, you can get this larger notepad, which is more of a square, and then the inside's actually layered with that beautiful graphic as well. A lot of like gold foil, which is fun. And then you got the envelope set to match so you can fold these up. This you fold into threes, I think. I think I tested it out. Yeah, I feel like this is threes. Yeah. And then this actually will fit right in there, I'm pretty sure. So Perfect check that out. Fits. Yeah, these are super fun. They always go quickly. We probably sell out within a couple weeks every single year. So we do have them on display. Beautiful presentation here in the shop just to brighten everyone's day because we know spring has sprung. Then we do have some more Japanese letterpress sets. A lot of these are also Midori as well. Uh, just some regularly stocked items that have their own theme and color display or color pattern. Got some Kakimori. Letter paper, which is fun. A lot of people come in and just want higher quality, loose leaf paper. I'd have to suggest this. If yeah, and uh, I got a nice comment here. I wish I had more people to write letters to so I can get all the new Midori. Maybe a good option, make sure you're part of our Discord server. Uh, you can find a link to join if you're not already. We uh, should add that, we should add a thread. Yeah, so, and if we don't have one, there's, there's stationary talk, there's, yeah. there's different ways to do it. Um, but maybe pop in there. Pen pals is such a good idea. Yeah, there you go. See, that's why we improv this type of stuff, you guys, because we come up with these brilliant ideas. So yeah, yeah, uh, Discord link is in our bio, so you can join. We have like 1,400 members, big aficionados and pen nerds, you know, of this community that will be more than happy to write you back, so. Yep. All right, then we got some G. Lalo uh, paper over here. This is my favorite one to recommend because when people want some some uh, like kind of etched paper that tears out. This is a great tablet to use for the letter writing. Uh, over here we got Crane. This is probably one of the most well-known stationary brands in the world. Uh, we have tons of different box options, a lot of thank you notes, blank cards. Uh, basically, if you're looking for that combination of the card and the envelope, 
uh, or you need them in bulk, this is typically what we'd suggest for you. And we also have executive and resume paper too, like premium stock. Uh, over here, Galen Leather, this is what we have left. We probably get an order in quarterly and it moves super fast, but we do get like like 10 big boxes in, so. Yeah, at least. The good thing is we do have Galen Leather confirmed for the sidewalk sale, mm -hmm. uh, which is coming up in August. We're about four months out. Insane. Uh, exactly, four months out, like it'd be over. Yeah. So yeah. uh, a number of confirmed vendors, including Whoa, Galen Leather. Geez. Let's make sure that they didn't see that happen. <laughs> So there Testing should be, the reflexes. there'll definitely be a restock before then, and probably a lot of stuff that we normally don't carry that'll hopefully make its way over to the sale. Yeah, I was testing. These things have those like rubber things on the bottom, so it doesn't scuff your desk. Yeah, does it have the rubber things all over it? So when you drop it, no, it that doesn't... was just me. I went like this, so that was a, a skill issue. All right. Okay. All right, over here we have. A lot of accessories to store your fine writing instruments and art supplies. Then we got some washi tape items. We have a pretty unique brand called Object Index, which is um, a very, what are you going to say? I was gonna say? It's a sister brand to Kakamori, actually. So it comes out of Japan. Yeah. I was going to say that it has a very, um, what's yeah, like the proper way to Minimalistic. Yeah, yeah. I'd approach. say that's good. Yeah, the packaging is super unique. I really like it. Uh, we're going to get some more glue stick glue sticks back. Yeah, actually, guys... I think uh, early next week is when that shipment's in. Yeah, can you believe this? a glue stick is like the hottest seller at Atlas? We'd love to see it. You want to know why? Because I took the photos of these for the website. Hey, what can I say? No comment. I actually own a glue stick, one of those. Um, and I actually used it to send out my wedding invitations. Oh. And it was super good. Honestly, I was actually really impressed. You should include your glue stick in, the, uh, in a mystery box. Uh, that month. would have a lot of value. That's what I'm saying. A lot of value. This was the glue stick Hollywood used for his wedding invitations. Insane. We got some cute um, Puni Labo cases. Just restocked these, actually. I know these yeah, got these put out yesterday. yesterday. Yep. Yeah, some uh, Toyo Toolbox, which I don't even think we need a feature because this stuff they is shown like crazy. every I single did order mention pulling video. it on Monday that we're actually working on our own exclusive yeah. On that, so hopefully some details to come soon. Yeah, and these ones are... The Delphonics? Yeah, the Delphonics. The medium carrying cases. It seems like we, we just got more of these in too, I feel like. Yeah, so those always come in and go out of stock quickly. So we did get a large restock recently, but it's, uh, it probably won't last too long. Yeah, some rolls, some pencil cases. If you look at our selection like four years ago, three years ago, even like two years ago, and then you look at it now, well, two things that I've noticed. One, we carry a ton of Japanese products now because their products are just so good. Yeah. And two, we've expanded so much into the ink and the accessory branch that we've got to be one of the lead, leading retailers with all of this type of things that you can find under one roof. Uh, for example, washi tape. We used to never really carry washi tape and then all of a sudden it just exploded out of nowhere. So you see a lot, a lot of MT tapes, Cora Crea craft tapes. It's just super fun. I mean, our bullet yeah, journaling the, products, the our newer, creative journaling. Newer brands that we had, the PIP stickers. Yeah, the PIP stickers. We which, rarely uh, carried stickers, yep. you know? It just basically my point is, is that we just are really doing our best to make sure we cover our bases and not just do the pens. That's kind of, that was like our intro into the fine writing world, obviously, because pens arguably the most important part if you want to journal. Yeah. But there's so much more to it in this creative world in that we just wanted to provide the items necessary to uh, basically have you expand your creativity. Wow, that was inspirational. Over here, we got some X stampers. I almost fainted, so. Yeah, that was intense. X stampers, so if you want to stamp some emojis, we got these to start out with. Um, yes, yeah, a relatively cool. new addition restocked at least once or twice already. Yeah. Been a nice mover. They had the Dung Notebooks, which we just featured on our um, Instagram page, I think yesterday. Some more Cora Crea craft items. The new box, the Silk Road. This is the March box. Uh, basically, we get these boxes near the end of each month because um, that's, when, that's when they wholesale. So this one is super cool. A mix of washi tapes, wax seals, some paper. Looks like we still have one Mystical Woodlands and one uh, Mystery. So these boxes sell so well. I mean, we, we get a limited amount, but they go fast. Wax seals, new 
I don't even know which brand this is, but these these like diaries are a little bit more novelty like. So we never really had anything in the shop like that. Uh, this would be great gifts uh, for people who just well like dragons, I guess. Look at that. That's crazy. They lock as well, or a little hitch lock. And then one thing that actually uh, King Don wants us to show, Mr. Atlas himself. He's been incredibly excited about these. And we had a comment that we hit 15,000 likes, but unfortunately, TikTok has frozen the, uh, the count, the like counter for me. So we're Has stuck it? at 13.4, so oh. until it updates, right, I, nah. I don't know if I can take your word for so it. So you guys don't realize we, we have a setting that can control that. No, yeah. I'm joking. All <laughs> right, well, if you get to 25K, we'll also throw in one of these. Okay. These are the Fabulously Flat Paper Pens Bookmark. So basically, you got one, two, three, four, five, six bookmarks. So, you know, you, you tear, the, tear the perforation and then you use this as your bookmark. And then it's actually a flat pen that you can use to annotate the book as well. That's pretty cool. Now, the idea is though, be careful how you lay this in because you obviously don't want the ink to uh, basically, you know, mark up your book unless that's the intended desire. Yep. I don't know how and, much uh, these are, but these are cool. Got a couple comments. Uh, the store looks so different than when I was there in 2020. Great job. Yeah, it is thank looking you. amazing. Yeah, let's Thank do you. a nice pan around since we walked most of the store already. Screen charts are forever 15,000. Yeah, so I'm showing 13.8 right now. Yeah, see, it's, it's updating. It's getting there. All right, the last thing we'll show, and then we'll try to get to the back, is our individual um, pens and markers and bullet journaling utensils. So. Yeah, so this was recently updated as yeah. we've been expanding into new brands, newest one being Uniball. Uniball is taken off as well. So what you're looking at right now is Pentel, and then we got a bunch of Lamy, Schneider, Karen Dosh, uh, Uniball right now up top, and then Pilots. It's just crazy. We want it to be an emporium of all these different fine writing instruments because we know everyone has a different preference. So you might be looking right now and say, wow, all those look the same. But I have to admit, they are very different. Very different. So we got most of the gel pens, ballpoint pens on this side, felt tip. We've also... Zebra click art, which is super popular. Yeah. Uh, These Molotov black liners and the liquid chrome, which I, I remember, I remember like last week I texted you, bro, when I uploaded the liquid chrome markers. These ones are the fine liners. I said, this is gonna be a super hot product, and I'm pretty sure we already sold out of all three of the point sizes. Yep, so we'll have to those are dope. get those restocked. Uh, we have all the jelly rolls, the Le Pens, Sailor. Dual brushes. There's a lot, yeah, Sailor. We just got these restocked actually yesterday, but a lot of markers in here as well. It's a category that we are expanding. Uh, Rotring eggs, nice spinner there. And then down this aisle, we've got quite a few calligraphy items, pencils, so we've got just thousands and thousands of products that you can use to to write. Yeah, we got like everything. Yeah, so we got uh, King Don chiming in. The fabulously flat pens are eight ninety nine for that set. Eight ninety nine. We got Jen. Do you have the Energel Cleaner yet? Those are fire. I uh, no, I don't believe so. But that's uh, something that we can look at. Ooh, what's that? So I did a video about this on TikTok. Yep. A nice voiceover showing off what I consider to be one of the most versatile notebooks. This is the, the Clyde Work Craft Book. So this one is in the pocket size. Um, somebody asked if it was fountain pen friendly, so we ran some tests, and look at that. That is very fountain pen friendly. One thing to know, it does have the white grid, so it kind of gives you a nice vintage, or I don't know, like a, a unique look when you ink over it. And as you can tell, people have already been enjoying drawing in it. So that. So pretty sweet. Jasmine wants to show, we got some new paper as well that we're working to get on the Our website. Font, is this the Claire Fontaine stuff? Yeah. yeah, the premium sketchbooks. We actually have one of these set aside and we have a queue that, uh, we have a queued up to actually have a demonstration of one of the watercolor sketchbooks with some watercolor uh, utensils. So I think the, uh, the London toolbar, those clear, um, I forgot what they're called, but they're like felt tips where you load the ink directly. Let me grab one, let me show you real quick. Pardon me, I'm so sorry. 
these guys. So be on the lookout for that. We're gonna do a nice video. Uh, basically, actually this is the sesame oil that everyone's been after. Sold out right away, but you can get it in this set. But essentially, this is what we wanted to demonstrate is how this ink inside these clear felt tip pens will work in a Claire Fontaine sketchbook. So be on the lookout for that video. All right, let's go into the back. Let's grab the exclusives. Oh, you first. brought it here. Let me switch the camera. On You're on camera now. You're on camera. You're exclusives. You're the exclusive guy. All right, ready? 15.2 thousand. 15. Did I add oh, those to the did? website? Yes, we did. Those are on the website. We have to get under some Lennon Toolbar. The Lennon Toolbar. Oh, you did get them up? I got them up yesterday after the live stream. Because okay. everyone was uh, telling me, get them up, get them up. Okay. Yeah, so we have, there was some paper and stuff too that we are working to get photographed. Let's show these though. You want to come over here? So over the last couple months, we have been just going crazy working on exclusives with different manufacturers, uh, different resin makers. And we've got a couple that we can preview today. One other is actually coming today uh, by DHL. So when we head to the back, we'll see if it's here because we can do a first look at that. But what do we want to show first? That, are you still right messing with the camera work? I'm you know, getting some great action shots. Oh man, okay. So this, I believe is gonna be coming in May. Oh, DHL is right there. They just pulled they up. They just pulled up. That's gonna be an exclusive first look. We'll have to make sure we open it up on camera because that's gonna be pretty cool. So we have a new Edison Collier coming. The, we just launched one a week ago. Mm -hmm. Sold out within a couple hours yeah. for the most part. Uh, so we have the Galaxy that is going to be coming probably mid to late May using resin from Jonathan Brooks. This one's going to go fast. It's going to be limited to 50 pieces. This one will probably go faster than the Nebula, yeah. to be honest. Nebula sold fast. There was, I think, one extra fine nib that was around for a couple hours. That was about yeah. it. So that will be mid to late May, I believe. Then the first pens that we know of using brand new resin from Jonathan Brooks, Golden Abalone. These are gonna be on Leonardo Memento Zero pens. Two trims, we got Rose Gold and Ruthenium. These are, I believe, June. Might open for pre-order May or June, uh, but hopefully by middle, the uh, mid to end of June, we will have these in stock. And they'll be steel nibs with extra fine, through their elastic uh, fine nibs. So seven, seven or eight different nib choices there. Some really cool patterns in the resin here. These are gonna do really well. Sweet. So let's see, I'm waiting for that, that door to open with DHL coming in, because that, that's gonna be an exciting one. Because what we're expecting is our first exclusive that's gonna be launching uh, I think in a week or two from Leonardo, idea is to push it out at the Chicago Pen Show, uh, but we have the sample yeah, which is coming. Yeah, two weeks away. Yeah, so we'll get that photograph today. Uh, photograph today on the website is probably gonna open up pre-orders this afternoon once we get it up there. But yeah. uh, we'll have to see. You Unless know, they run around the back. Yeah, so. let's let's go to the back real quick. Okay. And let's let's go maybe show a couple of the new Peniters that we've been suggesting Teasing a little video. bit. There's my studio, you guys. Look how pretty, love that studio. Oh, thank you. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't know you were still on. Yeah, we're still going. We're still going. Mama T in the cut. All right. So put these. We got to make sure we put those back in the vault here. So we got Trevor checking these in, but we can grab a couple. I'm going to grab one of these, okay? Let's see. I think these are ball points. I was just grabbing quick. How about right here? But this is part of the new classic series from Peniter. Four different colors. Traditional colors. We got black, blue, green, and red, all with gold or rose gold trim. These are going to be fantastic options, especially from graduation season. This is the ballpoint. We will have this in roller and fountain. I believe they're received in already, so they should be on the website under new arrivals. The fountain pens are gonna be a cartridge converter. Wait, let me see that finial. They changed that, that's new. Oh, that's cool, I didn't see that. Yeah, it's new. 
getting some love from uh, from the the viewers to Mama T. Tanya saying hi, Trevor. Trevor, we panned around you quickly. Looks like you got some fans out there too. <laughs> Everyone's amazed at how quick Trevor and Jamel get the orders out the door. Yeah, they are a power team. So. And there's yeah, the, the green. green is super nice. Quill nib by chance? No, it's steel. These are all steel. steel. So if you have an avatar, uh, it can be just like that. Let's see if we can grab the other pen that we saw. The La Grande Bellezza's. There's two new colors. Let's see. And Brian, in case people did not know that is a fan that is a fan i know labeled fan well we did that for your sake i know you were struggling it looks like that's an among us character down there that little guy the game was crazy all right we got one there these should be the fountain pens that mama t pulling. needs a five favorite things in the store video or kids don't count <laughs> i thought we were the fans yes you are the fans absolutely So, two new Belezzas come in fountain pen, ballpoint, and rollerball. We did just get these photographed, so I don't know how well they're gonna show up on the video, but take a look at the website, because uh, the resin on this is really cool. These are gonna be piston fill. And they're gonna retail, after the 20% discount, they're gonna be 398. These do feature the, the same steel nib as the uh, last collection that we saw there. And then here is the wine red. Perfect. Sweet. What else we got? Uh, I don't know, I think we just... You want it? Here, how about this really quick? This is a big deal. Oh yeah. And then I think let's let's call it because I think what I want to do for the DHL is we can do a, a video of unpacking it, like a like okay. a, a recorded video. Okay. You know how how we receive in an exclusive pen or something. Yeah. Are you going Behind to give me the, the endless zip folios? I'm not sure what those are. Probably if they're available. I haven't seen them yet either, or maybe I just missed it. But uh, but pretty much anything endless makes we bring in, including the ink that we've uh, talked about a few times. So we are bringing back a collection from Aurora, the Ypsilon series. Have it in three different versions. The two that I've got here, the first one is their satin. It's a friction fit cap steel nib out of Italy. We're gonna have four, five or six different colors in this. These are only $112 uh, for price. an Italian pen. Yeah, fantastic. And then we have the next step up, which is their demo color just really nice coloring uh, but we have the demo the clear uh, section there mm -hmm. where the grip is so you can see what color ink you have and then we have uh, still working on the photographs we have the lacquer series which is a little bit more expensive about three hundred dollars but some cool finishes there as well uh, but those should be yeah, I think you're hoping to get them photographed today yeah uh, we've got them in stock they're available in the store now uh, and online soon cool All right. Anything you wanted to see in here? Oh, I want to show the sailor. Should be right here. Let's see. Yes, we've talked a lot about the pen of the year. I haven't seen this yet. I've only seen the renderings, but we have sailors pen of the year, which is in their pro gear and pro gear slim model. This is the celestial gray. Uh, yeah, you got I'm, I'm going to open one, okay. but not this one. So it looks like a kind of a black. It is transparent in there. Hold it up like there we go, like that. Yeah, you can see the nib in there. So that's it's hard to pick that up in the initial rendering. So seeing the stuff in person. I feel like seeing Sailor in person in general is just always yeah. such a, a just insane experience. No King of Pen version? No. No King no of Pen. No King version. of Pen in this one. Just pro gear. Pro uh, gear. Slim and regular. You're, you're yeah. good. You're good. Yeah. Just pro gear, slim and regular. But those just arrived uh, last night. Our, we should uh, have every nib always. size in stock. Really we're doing five. Sweet. Yeah, we already sold a few today, so be on the lookout. Okay. Look, look how crazy our warehouse is, you guys. 
We're right by the lunchroom too, and it smells really good. Somebody's got something good in here. All right, I think that's gonna do it. I think it's gonna do it. We we were live for almost an hour, like 50 minutes. Yeah, was there any last minute questions? No, so why don't you flip this on me? I'm gonna give that classic going away speech. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Y'all know the drill. Stay smooth. Peace.